Good morning. I wanted to share with you today from Psalm 90, verses 2 through 4. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. For you, a thousand years are as a passing day, as brief as a few night hours. <clears throat> Today, these verses really impressed upon me the otherness of the Lord. Um, I think that because Jesus was God incarnate, because he was, he was God in the flesh, God, eternal, immortal, who decided to become human because Jesus was fully God, fully man, fully human. I think that <clears throat> I tend to anthropomorphize God. I, I try to make God more like a man than what he actually is. I, I know that I do that. I, I tend to have thoughts <clears throat> that are kind of, you know, human towards God. Um, is God mad at me? Does God like me? Will God be my friend? Is God getting even with me? I wonder if God brought anything back for me from his trip. You know, th those sort of things, the, the kind of human interaction sort of stuff. But these verses are are critical. They're, they're critical reminders, just like other passages of Scripture that are similar to these that talk about the, the character and, and the, the essence, the being of God. Um, they're, they're critical for me to see the difference between God and human beings. He is other. He is not like us. I mean, we are created in his image in some minimal ways, but he is God. He is love and he is mercy. He's forgiveness. He's kindness. But he's also justice and wrath and holiness and disciplinarian and so much more. And all of that rolled into one and he's perfect in the process. Never failing. Never made a mistake. Ever. In all eternity. He is eternal, and his thoughts and ways are beyond my comprehension to the point that I can't even really clarify the difference between his thoughts and my thoughts. I can't even comprehend how his thoughts are different than mine. He is God, and yet he has chosen to notice me for some reason. God, who is more vast than the universe itself, he's not just the God of the universe. In him, all of the universe is contained. This God, who is more vast than the entire universe itself, has chosen to give his affection to me, to you. It is holy and totally inconceivable. Why God loves us. But he does. Pray with me. God, you are more. You are other. You are immortal, 
invisible, eternal. You are omniscient, all-seeing, omnipotent, all-powerful. You have a perspective that spans all eternity, not just what the crises of this day or this week are. And yet, Lord, with all of this that you have made, all of creation, you see me, you see us. You've given your attention to me. I don't know why, but you have. And I thank you, Lord, that you care enough that you have plans for me, for us, plans to prosper us, to give us a future, and to provide hope. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, friends. We'll see you tomorrow.